What's up everybody, Collector Joey here, and today we did get an announcement from Hot Toys. They announced the PS5 Spider-Man 2 Superior Suit Spider-Man. Now, I didn't get through all of the game and I didn't get to this suit yet, but it looks pretty cool to me. And it's surprising that they actually dropped something because it is Chinese New Year and they actually released something as well, which was the C-3PO. But I just wanted to make a video about the Spider-Man guys, so tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the video. And here he is right here. Now, this is a suit that I have personally never seen before. Even though I played the game, I didn't scroll through all the suits to see what they were. Uh, but this one's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie at first. I thought this was the Spider-Man uh, from Andrew Garfield, the first suit, because of the eyes. The eyes look very, very similar to that. But this thing just looks crazy already, guys. So it kind of reminds me of the um, integrated suit a little bit with that with that type of spider logo, but it's all black. I think that's cool. And there's a lot of different patterns in between. So usually we're used to like uh, the, the really you know straight patterns that are just all symmetrical but this one is is a lot different so i like that it's, it's something new so here we go it, i don't i don't want to say it looks like a multiverse type of thing but it looks like a lot of different spider suits put together with different colorways and things like that uh but oh man look at these claws i i know a lot of people like the claws i like them too they just take up a lot of space but man these look good with that cherry red just perfect Oh man, and look at his, he gets like shoes kind of now, look at that. They look like those shoes that you know, you have individual toes you put them in. Some people wear those for like running and stuff. It looks like that to me. But man, I wanna look at some up close details on this. Oh, okay, look at this. This looks cool. Um, it looks like he has actual claws as hands too, as well, kind of like the uh, 2099 suit. So that's nice. Uh, the base could be a little bit better, honestly, but you know, they always come out with bases like that. And I don't know why, I, I guess these, I think the other claws actually hold up the Spider-Mans. I don't know why they would need the flight pole to hold him up on this picture with those, you know, claws holding him up like that. You would think that maybe it could hold the figure itself. I don't know why they did that. If, if you know what I mean, like you, you didn't need the, you didn't need the base, I mean, it probably could hold it up itself if it's like the other claws. And here's this one. I like this pose because I know this pose is from the game whenever he like shoots himself forward. I think that's really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have some updated. Uh, um, what are they? The webs. We're going to have some updated webs as well. Uh, I think we've seen them on a couple figures already. Yeah, these are really nicely. So there's one, two, three, it looks like four points of articulation on each one of these claws. That looks awesome. Let's keep going. All right, so now we have the newly designed pinchers with uh, enhanced artic, oh yeah, enhanced articulation. So um, so yeah, like I said, I don't know why they use that flight pool. But, uh, this one looks like a pose from like 2099 Spider-Man right here so that's cool that's cool um they're using the claws a lot on this one man they look good that cherry red is just it, it pops with that black black and red figures are good and this looks like um you know that uh black suit the uh black and gold suit from the spider-man uh no way home line i that this looks like the thing on his wrists if you guys know what i'm talking about but man he looks like he has shoes i want to see some up close of those the eyes, I think, are what really set this figure off. And they're doing it again right here with this pose. So can the claws hold them up? I don't know. You would think that they could. But I wonder if they're strong enough. And that's why they have the flight pole. I don't know. But we'll see. Man, he looks good. Let's look at let's look at some up close thing. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it looks like you do have the same material you usually get with Spider-Man's. Where it, if you have it in a pose for a while, it will eventually bounce back. And uh, yeah, like, so you have all these webbing throughout, but it's a, like a, a different type of webbing. And then you got some nice designs throughout the suit. The inside of the palms are red with a little dot in the middle or triangle, whatever that is. 
Uh, going down, let's see. Yeah, nice suit, nice suit. There's the shoes right there, guys. Yeah, it still looks like those. It looks like, um, I forgot what they were called. They're not called free runners. I don't think they are, but let's see. Here's another picture of him looking good. Man, those eyes look awesome. Here's another picture of him. Yeah, here's another swing, uh, swinging kind of uh, web right here. So going, love it, love it, love it. And so here's the back. That's kind of where they all plug in. The uh, the tentacles all plug in. Um, so I like this. It looks like a spider. <laughs> I wonder if you can plug these in though. But I, I like that it looks like kind of like a spider backpack. Some more video. Some more pictures of him right there. Ooh. Looks like it's zoomed in. What is it zoomed in on? It says detailed suit with ace. That's what I was looking for. Asymmetric patterns uh and black spider emblem so yeah that's what they are asymmetric so it's like there's other spider webs on top of these spider webs which is kind of a design that i haven't really seen much which i like from spider-man something new you know oh you get interchangeable eyepieces okay cool so it looks like this one's a, a little bit thinner than this one so you get some big ones i kind of like the big ones on him than the smaller ones they look really cool uh but here's everything you do get with the figure right here. So of course you get the interchangeable eyepieces right here. Then you get the newly designed pinchers with enhanced articulation. Like we said earlier, you do get that cool little backpack on him that holds the tentacles on his back. Then you do get the uh, shoes <laughs> there. Uh, they're showing you some up close of the shoes. And also, um, I don't know if this lights up, but it might be reflective. Those little gauntlets on his on his forearm, uh, it, it's shining red with that dot right there. And then you do get the detailed suit with the asymmetric patterns and black spider emblem, which is awesome. Here's the base as well. Then you get one, two, three, four, five pairs of hands with this figure. And here are all the detailed webs that you do get. Now, I don't think these can articulate or, or, or bend or move or anything like that, but I really like the spiral one. The spiral one's kind of my favorite, but uh, but guys, what do I give this figure as a rating? Um, I give it a solid 8.5. It's pretty good to me. I think it, I think it's going to be something Spider-Man fans deserve. I know people are tired of seeing Spider-Man, Iron Man, things like that. But this is what kind of everybody just loves is, is, is Spider-Man and Iron Man, you know? So, and I know you guys love Star Wars as well. And Star Wars actually got a release today. So they got some love as well. Love that, love that, love that. And how much do I think this is going to be? I think this might be around, well, with the claws and everything, probably like 285 maybe, 285, 300, around there. So uh, I could be off by a lot, but I don't know. But anyways, guys, tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. Remember, collecting is a sport. So collecting is a sport. Anyways, guys, please uh, tell me, yeah, down there, if you're, tell me what you think about this figure down there in the comments. And also while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.